Today is Monday, October 12th, 2015, and we're honored to have with us in the studio Blackfoot Gypsies. Studio with Blackfoot Gypsies. It's really loud in here, which I like a lot. <laughs> I, honestly, it like feels like a show, you know, when I'm in it. Thank you guys very much for coming out and performing for us. Um, I would like to know a little bit about Nashville. How, how long have you lived there? All of you individual stories, I would assume, but uh, yeah, others, anyone? Well, I've you, been sir? There for Forty years. Forty, jeez. <laughs> All right, good. Got follow up for you, but yeah. you keep going. Yeah. Four to one. I'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I've only lived there six years. I'm from Oregon. Okay. Yeah, and know. I've lived there about three and a half years okay. from uh, Pennsylvania. Sweet, human. Yeah, I was raised in Nashville, so okay. pretty much all my life. Cool. Yeah, so especially for you two, but, oh, sorry, but, but for all of us, um, how, how have you witnessed it changing? I mean, in terms of, I know population increase and that kind of thing, but do you see it? 
do you see it changing culturally at all? Yeah, no. Plus, uh, like in the music thing, it's a whole lot different for me. Cause sure. Uh, I'm a blues man, and I'm with these fellas here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and that's a change for me right there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. For you guys, I mean, you lived there six years. Oh, well, yeah, it was, we were kind of expecting it to be the town where, you know, people go to to do this, you know, yeah. it's where that was the... The goal. And, and it's still happening, and everyone, you know, people keep coming, and it keeps building, the the skyline's changing. But yeah, yeah. I don't know, Nashville's getting a lot of stuff together that uh, they should be getting together, you know? Yeah, 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 for sure. And it's great. Um, a lot of people don't like the change because, you know, it's change, but I don't know. I'm going to ride this boat, see how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In terms of, like, people playing music, I mean, do you, I mean, is everyone you know a musician? Well, <laughs> you know? And someone point this, pointed this out the other day, like, there's a lot of regular people in Nashville, but sure. we only know each other. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You no, know, there's normal people here. No <laughs> You're idea. not in a band? <laughs> what do you mean? What, what, what else what do, do you do? do? <laughs> uh, yeah, most people I know are musicians. Yeah. And most places I go, I run into them. Yeah. Coffee, beer, music. Right, just connected in yeah. that way, yeah. And for you, man, I mean, you've lived there your whole life, but you've seen, uh, you've lived in a bunch of different areas or, or mostly like in the same, you know, communities or whatever, suburban areas? Uh, yeah, different areas, kind of in the central Nashville mo mainly. Okay, like, sure. I lived in like Knoxville for six years. But, okay. Um, yeah, it's changed. Like, it used to be if you wanted to be in a rock and roll band, there's what they call the Nashville curse. Yeah, You could okay. only get so high got it and then you're just and, like suffocated or there's nothing like, left yeah that's a rock and roll band in the country town yeah that's what you were. okay okay and, yeah you know that was a people called it the nashville curse and it's Pipe down hippie yeah it yeah just, <laughs> it doesn't really seem to play country music anymore. here <laughs> yeah so. yeah so even just that change for um like genre or whatever just like a general understanding that it was a country city or country western sort of city and yeah. now that it's any any band can come out of there garage exactly. bands and yeah. yeah other such stuff yeah i was actually talking to a dude uh chancellor warhol who's a rapper and oh, he was yeah. kind of echoing that same thing like there wasn't <laughs> rap is like not something that comes from nashville necessarily but that he found a really like vibrant community of people supporting him and you know like even sub genres of that kind of stuff so sweet uh thanks again guys for coming out Absolutely. and you can you can roll into your next song when you're ready yep song <laughs>
watching Blackfoot Gypsies on Audio Tree Live. It's really nice to watch you guys vibing too. You pre- you perform well, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. You'd do that if no one was watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You play play in your own. When you were uh, I don't know, like younger and playing your instrument, did you ever imagine you're playing for other people? Like, did that ever go through your head, or was it more like you know just playing alone? Yeah, I I'd say so, but you kind of you kind of don't really. I guess you imagine it, but you don't really. It's weird. Like yes. Yes. Not, not necessarily. <laughs> okay. Yeah, how do you sure. imagine something you've been making up the whole time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> imagine something that hasn't existed. And the crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is that classic like backyard baseball sort of scenario where you do like the because that's yes, all you can do. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> um, would you talk to me a little bit about the record's title? I just, um, I read like a little snippet about that story. Some guy who was saying that phrase a In lot. In Chicago, handled. actually. Okay. Paul Riley, wherever you are, Paul. Uh, Paul! Paul! Anytime there was something that needed to be handled or anytime <laughs> anything needed to be done, even totally out of, not, not, not making it, oh, I, can I have some cereal? Handle it. Boom. Handle it. Get you some. Can I have? Can I have this for the car? handle it? Boom! Cheers! Handle it. I'm getting tacos. I'm handling it. And so, like, you got to go to court or you got to do stuff. I don't know. We just kept you just like, handle, handle it. it. Just, oh man, it yeah. does. It helps in the morning when you're like, I got to do stuff. Just handle, you handle it. Maybe. So, so it's more of like a self motivational phrase in that way. Like, just get it just done get because it, done. it needs to be it, done. It's gonna be. It's gonna be bad. But yeah. You know, it, can handle it yeah so have you um have there has there ever been a show that was kind of i don't know like falling apart or something that you were able to bring back <laughs> by saying handle it one? yeah i mean maybe <laughs> not by okay yeah maybe not by saying uh, handle yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. handling it well live when you have handle it in your heart nothing can ever go wrong <laughs> it always it always works out <laughs> no we definitely had a few of those shows where it's you know all right let's uh no sense feeling bad about it. Yeah, you know? of course. So just handle it, baby. Yeah. Try some stuff you wouldn't normally try in front of people. <laughs> Have you? Th- can you think of any like specifically? Or? Uh, we just played in Memphis to one person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a that was a blast. Yeah. And lucky that guy. Am I right? Come <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, that guy got his own show. Yeah, people I would pay for that. I did imagine people there and that. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> and then at one point, I realized I was doing f- like fake commentary to actually no one. I felt like people <laughs> yeah. were watching, but I was like, hey, thanks for coming out, everybody. And I really got lost in it. And there really wasn't anybody. I tricked myself into thinking there was, and there wasn't. <laughs> yeah, once you once you go down that hole, yeah. I think you just have to stay in it. Stay, stay, stay. I stayed there. Yeah, I stayed yeah. there <laughs> until I turned around because I was facing the band. I would turn around like, yeah, empty room. Just, but it was dark enough to where you couldn't tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah no big good. deal. <laughs> I do like that yeah, idea that once it's there. in your heart, you handle everything. It goes on. It's <laughs> great. Okay, cool. Uh, roll into your next track when you're ready, guys.
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Blackfoot Gypsies. Uh, would you talk to me a little bit about that music video? That's the pizza one, right? That is Correct? the pizza one. Okay, cool. What, what was the origins of that <laughs> well, idea? Uh, that is Bordeaux, Tennessee. Uh, okay, it's okay, just cool. North of, uh, just over the river from Nashville. It is Nashville. Okay, sure. And uh, I, I lived there when I was writing that song yeah, yeah. in a weird little shanty. <laughs> it was a weird little halfway Apartment, house shanty. Halfway, okay, yeah. It was weird, but it, my, my part was cool. Uh, but <laughs> uh, uh, also, uh, Dylan had a hookup at a pizza shop where we could get as much pizza as we wanted. Oh, yeah. So what do Shout you do? Shout out to which place? What so, pizza is that? Uh, Two Boots Pizza, represent. Okay, Two Boots Pizza. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> Bless it, Nashville. And we could... Uh, we used that and the neighborhood, and yeah. I had a funny suit, and that is a neighborhood you don't dance down. Yeah, because that's what I was <laughs> curious at, the because the kind of people that are in the background, even like like the the environment, just looks I don't know desolate yeah, and it kind of kind of scary. Mm -hmm. it, it totally is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was it was a shoot and go the whole day. It was like we can't be here too long because I'm gonna get beat up. <laughs> yeah, people are gonna yell at me. Cops are coming, or people <laughs> that are gonna beat me up are coming. So let's. It was in and out of the van the whole day. Just, yeah. All right, dancing, having fun. Okay, I'm scared. Let's run. Did you run into any, like, I mean, actual no, trouble? Or is nope. it just like... No, we totally got away scot-free. The only thing, we got told to get off the premises of a one hotel, but... Okay. They didn't get the art vision. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't understand the platforms no, and the funny suit. No, they could understand English enough to realize what greatness was going on, on So, the territory. So what is, like, why is that area so much different? Just because, I mean, is it across the river? That means it, it's not it's part just, of the urban? It's been that, it's been that neighborhood. I don't know. Okay. I, I, it was before my time that yeah. those rules were made. Um, but it was cheap and scary and where I could live. And that's yeah. where I lived. And close. It's close. It's just over the river. Bordeaux is right there. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's not really any reason to go there. Sure. When you were living in that place, were you also writing? I mean, was that, is that like your little studio? No, thing? I mean, it was just, it, it, there was no studio. Oh, we did record the new sounds of Trans Western. It's mm -hmm. a little 45 single that we cool. did on this cool task cam. Uh, it's got, the house had a great sound. It was, all the floors were bowed, so your ants would roll into the middle oh, of the floor. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, but no, I just lived there for about a year, and okay. it's just time and place, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Are there a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of studios in Nashville, obviously. How do, how do you kind of pick? I mean, is it just connection or somebody that you might know that you're comfortable with, or do you shop around? Kind of, you check what's in your lap. Like who? Who do okay. I know? And what will they? Will they let me pay them later? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If that help, please. Um, but yeah, they are everywhere. So you kind of just you know, pick which one vibes well. Who you like working with? What feels good? Yeah. Do you seek what out you can engineers? That, that's different. Yeah, yeah. Money obviously is may maybe the first factor, but yeah. But yeah do, uh, do you like seek out engineers that you're interested in or mm, things like that? We haven't. We haven't yet. Well, yeah, actually. I mean, Andrea at the bomb shelter. Yeah. He uh, he was. It's definitely someone we wanted to work with. Okay. And uh, also Scott McEwen, the guy that did handle it. He's just, we knew about him and we'd met him and he's a wizard and we needed to have his magic around. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's kind of how that went down. Okay, we sure. We really kind of got lucky. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, in what way? You mean because of the lap thing, like your lap happened to have some great people in it? or? <laughs> yeah, I mean, people would tell us the right things about the right people. Whereas, like, as opposed to having to go to, like, five different studios and see if they're worth it. Yeah. yeah. You usually get a good direction. You can, instead of starting fresh from Craigslist. You know. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just anyone that you trust yeah. or, like, believe their opinions or whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, um, a bunch of things are going on in their future. They are on tour through the end of October with three Atlanta shows. They will be in Europe uh, May slash June of 2016, recording the follow-up currently to Handle It, which is out now on Plow by Records. You can get it and uh, take it away with your last song when you're ready, boys. And this song is on it. <laughs> Called too bad, baby. Sometimes it's just too bad.
Audio Tree Live. We've been in the studio with Blackfoot Gypsies. You can get their new record, Handle It, um, online and in stores, anywhere else that you get your music. Uh, before we close out, I want to say that we will be doing an interview with Lily Clayton Hansen right after this. So stick around. Thank you guys very much for performing. Thank you for having us so much. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks to so. awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, hooking uh -huh. it up. And viewers, thanks for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks and send a shout via social media to us or them if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. Woo! All right. Sweet. So that's what it's like.